Welcome to Mike Out, a channel about the survival, preparedness, outdoor escapades and uh, related topics. Ten years ago I made a few videos about wilderness survival, uh, but I stopped mainly due to uh, other interests taking precedence. Uh, but every few weeks or so someone asked me why I stopped and uh, say they would like to see more. I have decided to take the encouragement seriously and go back producing videos. Um, my ambition is to pick up sort of where I left off. Um, I'm not a survival expert by any means, but uh, I believe I have a decent amount of experience with uh, survival training and outdoor life in general that I think I might have something to offer. During the past 12 or so years uh, I've done two separate week-long winter exercises uh, without food and with minimal amount of gear and uh, beside my initial uh, one week with 500 calories per day of emergency rations I have extensively experimented with uh, nutrition from eating nothing but meat for six months to uh, eating nothing but carbs for a whole year I have crossed Iceland by foot uh, I used to be a rock and ice climber and an avid fly fisherman I'm an amateur radio operator and uh, trained as a radio operator in the National Security Forces or the Home Guard, uh, but I'm not active in either at the moment. I work in IT operations uh, with uh, telematics and the past couple of years have been quite hectic uh, with uh, very little room for uh, recreation and uh, uh, I'm recovering from that. Uh, right now and I hope this channel will motivate me and uh, keep me inspired to do more than just work. I live in uh, Gothenburg, Sweden, uh, a country in Scandinavia. They say we have an oceanic climate here, um, but nature here is almost uh, subarctic uh, with predominantly needly forests and the occasional birch tree here and there, except uh, where I'm at right now, which is uh, patch of birch uh, close to a natural reserve uh, in Gothenburg. This is uh, not very common here uh, to have this big area with birches. So uh, I like this spot, it's nice. Going 300 kilometers north of Gothenburg in, and you're actually in the subarctic region of Sweden. So that could explain it. Uh, but winters here is uh, generally not as cold just more uh, wet, humid, uh, windy and uh, sometimes horrible. I will attempt to put a Swedish perspective on uh, survival and preparedness and uh, something which comes to mind is uh, definition of uh, survival. Survival for a Swede uh, with some official training uh, at least is uh, always about getting back to the land of the living. Uh, survival is not attempting to live off the land uh, in some romantic misconception. Uh, it's about doing what is necessary to stay alive until you re you're either rescued or uh, you find your own way uh, out back to civilization. The scientific approach of survival, at least here, is that it is close to impossible to uh, permanently live off the land in uh, Scandinavia or the entire temperate zone really without modern equipment uh, cultivating the land uh, or looting of course any claims to the contrary will be uh, received with a huge amount of uh, skepticism by anyone who knows what they're talking about uh, for more on this subject uh, I found this video by the wooded beardsman uh, and I think he's uh, spot on in my humble opinion. Uh, the video is called uh, Truth About Wilderness Survival. Uh, no better than fasting. And that title says pretty much everything. So, prepping. Um, Swedish authorities expect that all households cope for three days without water, heating and food in the event of crisis. Swedish disaster management uh, dictates that citizens are responsible for their own uh, disaster management. Uh, and that's the kind of prepping this channel will be about. I don't uh, think of myself as a prepper, but I'm probably more prepared than most people given the fact that I'm an outdoor survival enthusiast, uh, if you will. Um, but I live in the city uh, and I don't own a farm. 
I don't grow my own crops or practice animal husbandry. Uh, although I have a hunting license or exam as we say here, uh, I'm not a member of a hunting party or have access to land for hunting. Uh, so the prepping part would be more uh, of a learning experience for me and uh, share how I as a city dweller uh, would tackle that uh, situation. So that's all I had for now. Uh, please subscribe, comment or send me a message. Maybe there's something specific you would uh, want me to start off with. Uh, until the next episode, this is Mike, out. Always properly put out your fires before you leave.